Hi, God bless you. Uh, my name is Dr. Timmy Egberson from Move of the Spirit Ministries. Um, and this is a word for July. So, um, but before I give this word or go into the word, please do like this video, share this video, and subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel. Amen. Uh, so for the word for July, I was praying to the Lord and meditating on this, on, on what should be shared or what I should share. And the, the Lord, I just felt late, He gave me three aspect or three things um, or three uh, specific things or words that are going to happen um, as we partner with this word in July <clears throat> and then the first thing uh, I felt like the Lord was kind of saying was basically there's going to be a turnaround in July in many people's lives you know many people have been affected by this coronavirus either by losing a loved one unfortunately or many people have lost jobs or you know many people are having struggles with their finances and things like that so I feel like this is going to be a month of restoration for so many people the Lord is going to restore everything that the enemy has stolen um, in your life in the name of Jesus amen I feel like the Lord is going to give rest and respite um, um, in the land as well hallelujah so many people are going to get rest and respite um, in this month in Jesus name also I felt like our Lord says you know he's gonna give they're gonna be creating miracles are gonna happen and are gonna be released um, this month and the example he gave me was the turning of water to wine you know there's gonna be an acceleration of the miraculous you know some people are gonna have miracles um, in their finances some people are gonna have miracles in their in their health um, you're going to be turn around in your health. Some people are going to have miracles um, with job situations. You know, you're going to be re jobs are going to be released to many people. So right now, even as I speak, I want you to partner with that word and say yes and amen to that word. Um, that if it's a job that you require, maybe you've lost a job and you're requiring God to provide a new job for you, just receive that job right now in Jesus. And say, say, Father, I believe that job. I believe that word is from me and I receive it by faith in Jesus' name. If it's a health situation that you're believing, God for your healing I pray right now that you receive a creative miracle in your health and whatever it is that's wrong with your body I pray be healed right now in the mighty name of Jesus and just as God provided um, a water to wine and provided for a natural situation where they had lost or they had, the, the, the wine had finished at the wedding in a practical life life situation I pray in Jesus name I felt like Lord also said and there are gonna be miracles of provision for people this month um, God is going to turn around things. God is going to, even if he has to create a wine out of water, or if he has to bring water out of a rock, or if whatever he needs to do supernaturally to provide for you, he's going to do that for you in Jesus' name. And I feel like the Lord is saying he's releasing angels of provision to people, even in this month. Angels of provision are going to be released and to many people in Jesus' mighty name. And, I, and also the, another scripture the Lord gave me, was in Matthew 14 13 to 21 um, where Jesus um, created food or provided food the miracle f um, feeding of the 5,000 by a boy's uh, lunch five loaves and two fish and I felt like you know someone is going to be provided for people are going to provide for people groups actually I felt like this word was actually not just for individuals but also for people groups entire villages and I just felt like I just heard what Malawi right now I felt like you know some village in Malawi that's actually struggling um, for food for provision I feel like a lot is saying to that people group or whoever it is connected to those people groups that God is going to provide provision food shelter for them running water in Jesus name I feel like you know just a prophetic word right now there's gonna be a borehole uh, there's gonna be dog for that family or for that for that for that village in Jesus name to provide running water for them in Jesus name and if you're listening to me and you have a connection to Malawi or you're on a project planning to build a borehole for some village in Malawi I feel like this word is for you to remind you that this is the Lord saying or reminding you that he's with you that you should go ahead with that project and go um, um, go ahead with the project of building that well to provide water for them in Jesus name and the last thing I felt that Lord says to us in this month of July is there's going to be a restoration of relationships a restoration of relationships and the, 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 the scripture the Lord gave me concerning this is 1 Samuel 18 verse 1 this is the, talking about David and Jonathan and it says after Jonathan had finished um, talking with Saul so after David had finished talking with Saul Jonathan became one in spirit with David and he loved him 
even as himself. So I feel like, you know, the same way Jonathan and David became covenant brothers, God is restoring and God is going to bring relationships. One, there'll be a, there'll be a united of people and friendships and relationships that are going to be united even in this month. But at the same time, relationships that have been strained in the past, either based on due to confusion or based due to misunderstanding are going to be restored even in this month in the name of Jesus. And also, unfortunately, I also felt the Lord say to me that there's some relationships that are toxic, some relationships that shouldn't be in your life, but those relationships will be cut off. And the, and the scripture the Lord gave me concerning that is concerning Abraham and Lot. You know, Abraham, um, Lot was Abraham's uh, uh, cousin or, ne or nephew, but you know, the Lord had to cut him off because, you know, it wasn't, God spoke specifically to Abraham. He was changing season, a new season in Abraham's life had come. And God said he should leave his family, leave his father's house, leave everything behind and go to the place that he will show him for his inheritance. But unfortunately, he took Lot with him. And we know the end of that story. You know, they, they ended up separating and going separate ways. But God still blessed them individually, but they had to be their separate ways. So unfortunately, some relationships that are toxic, that are not serving the purpose of God for your life in the next season, will unfortunately have been cut off. It doesn't mean you're in, in you're going to be happy quarreling with anyone. It doesn't mean you're going to be, um, um, you know, fighting or in bitterness or whatever it is with anybody. But it just means they're not just for the next season. They're just they were good for one season, but probably not for the next season in your life. So, and I pray that God will, uh, would let you to discern, um, you know, those relationships that are not serving His purpose in your life. And you know that need to be cut off. You know, if someone is not, you know, edifying you, or, you know, or you know, you're not edified, and the relationship is not going somewhere or anywhere, uh, it's, it's in God's best interest, it's in your best interest, um, to cut it off and just, you know, separate and go your separate ways. But bless them. Always pray. Bless people. Don't ever leave on on a bad note or whatever it is. If you have to go down that route prayerfully do so and bless people and obviously keep the lines of communication open because you don't know um, they may be the, the key to your next uh, breakthrough as well so always make sure you always leave a good uh, positive relationship and never break or burn the bridges uh, so to say so I pray this word blesses and encourages you if you feel this word was for you or anything that I spoke in this word actually resonates with your spirit um, do leave me give me some feedback Put a comment on this note or a comment on this on this YouTube page or wherever you watch it on. Uh, leave me some feedback. I would love to hear from you. And uh, also, before you go, please do like this video, share this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you will get all the updates and new videos um, when we put it out in Jesus name amen hallelujah and also if you would like to partner with our ministry if you see what we're doing and you want to say look and um, um, Reverend Dottimi I'm interested I want to partner with what the Lord is doing in your life I'm interested I want to be a partner with you I'm gonna put a link um, at the bottom of this video um, you can go to our, our website www.moveofthespirit.com forward slash donate there's be a button right there that, that can says you know you want to partner with us you want to become a monthly partner um, with us we would love to have you partner with us I usually send um, a newsletter out to our partners and to those who follow our ministry and uh, we will send you more information as well hallelujah God bless you so thank you very much for watching this video do like share and subscribe once again to our YouTube channel in Jesus name until next time God bless you and have a wonderful day. Amen.